My supervisor invented a hormone collection device, but it doesn't work for women's hormones. So I decided to spend four years of my life trying to fix that. And the hardest part hasn't been switching fields or getting funding rejected over and over. It's been doing it while at risk of losing the will to live every month because of my own hormones. The most dangerous part hasn't been the radiation, chloroform or particle beams. It's been my own brain sensitivity to hormone changes that can put me in the deepest hole. And people see me running towards my goals of publishing papers and reducing the gender health gap. But they don't see that I'm running away from the darkness. Making that distance from my worst times as large as possible. Finding all the tools that I can, still scared to fall back into that endless cycle. It's all a big fight for PMDD to be properly recognised, for women's bodies to stop being taboo and our voices and our minds to stop being ignored or dismissed. Because I was so alone and scared and hopeless and unheard because of my hormones that I'm running and trying to drag anyone I can with me. In my darkest moment, I thought no one should have to feel like this. And that's the mantra that fuels all of it.